Hey guys, Cam Callender here to give you Knowledge Blast number 10. That's right, we're on number 10. And number 10 is all about pyramid schemes. We hear it all the time in the network marketing industry. Oh, is that one of those pyramid scheme type deals? Those, those scams? You know, that everybody's heard it. Everybody's heard it. Everybody's seen it. Everybody, people still say it. But the fact of the matter is pyramid schemes are legal. You know, they, they're always going to be found out. They're going to get shut down. They're going to go through arbitration with the government. It, it's going to be found out. You know, the, there's... The, the people that are out there scamming and scheming, they generally don't have a true product. They don't have anything that they're actually marketing. Uh, their, their profit margins are, are crazy unrealistic. You know, they, they, they can't even stay in business with, you know, how they're operating. So you can look at their business model and see, you know, what they're paying out, if they're even paying anybody out at all, you know, as, as far as being a company, you know, in the network marketing field. But most of these companies are on the up and up legit. They have a solid product. They have solid payouts. You can see their track records. You can see any anybody that any company that's paid out anyone over six hundred dollars in a year has to report it over to the IRS. So that then in itself is going to be something that's going to get the IRS and the government looking at that company when they start seeing those payouts going out. So if they're already starting those payouts and they're starting to move that those profits around then there you go. You can see that those profits are happening and that there's nothing illegal about it on the up and up and generally operating a business. Now there are times that those businesses can't continue to operate because they're paying out more than they're actually profiting. They're trying to get, you know, more of their profits and put money into that business from the owners and the standpoint. And they just don't, they're not able to keep it up. You know, it, it does happen in the industry and it has happened where companies have gotten shut down and it doesn't mean they're a scheme or a scam or anything of that nature. They just didn't have the funds to continue to operate at the level that they were at and what they were doing. You know, there's nothing illegal about it. You know, just think of network marketing uh, is exactly how Facebook got started. You know, it was a social network and went from one dorm room to another, to another, to another college, to another student. And then eventually it was across all the U.S. Now it's across all the world. You know, and that's just by people talking about it more and more. And just think of Facebook as a product instead of a website, just a website. You know, then there would be a big difference with, with network marketing. And when it comes in, the average person then gets paid instead of the shareholders like with Facebook and, and other things of that nature, but you've got the average person that's gone in, gotten licensed, and now they can market that product in the same network, you know, social network fashion and tell the next person and the next person and get paid off of that word of mouth advertising. Because that's what it comes down to. These companies are taking the money that they would have spent on advertising like a new commercial or Super Bowl ad and the millions of dollars that they would have spent on that, and they pay it out when somebody sells one of their products. Amazon does it all the time. They have an affiliate program where if you refer to anything that's a product on Amazon and you are an affiliate and you told them about that, Amazon will pay you a percentage of their profits. Now, what that makes for an actual business model, when you're paying a percentage of your profits, it keeps you making money over and over and over again when people are referring your products. As long as you're not paying out more than 50% of your profits, then you're going to be continuing to make money as a, as a business. And that's what you end up doing with the network marketing profession is you are able to then earn money off of just referring products that other companies are using their advertising dollars for. That's the simple basis of it. There's no scheme or scam about it. This product's been going on for years. You know, the products that I work with personally are all consumer-based products, you know, things that people would use on a daily basis. So, you know, those type of deals, you know, there's nothing illegal about it. It's completely legal. It's completely up and up. The products are great. You know, you, you just try them out. You know, if you're already using that particular type of product, then go ahead and try this one out. See if you like it any better. And then you can then get paid. You can get paid for it. Just like referring anything to anyone else. Car dealerships do it all the time. A lot of insurance places do it all the time. Apartment complexes, refer your friends. We'll pay you $200. We'll pay you $100. That's all it really is. That's all network marketing is. Refer your friends and we'll pay you for it. That's what it comes down to. So the next time somebody says, oh, it's one of those pyramid schemes or a scam. No, I'm just getting paid to refer products that I enjoy. That's all it comes down to. You know, and then really that's, that's the takeaway here. You know, there's the legality of it is it all goes back to the government. They check all that out because as soon as you make over 600 bucks, it goes back to the government, gets reported, then it all gets checked out then and there. So if you got multiple people doing it and there's actual checks flowing, then it's going to get checked out. So that's the, the bottom line to it. 
So, you know, that's the Knowledge Blast this week. You know, definitely keep subscribed to the channel. Hope to see you on here. Uh, you know, looking at all the different Knowledge Blasts. We've got the playlist going. Uh, definitely hope you like the content and see you next week.